Hello, Sam from Tool Hut here today. Today's project is we're going to go through some basic settings for your laptop, getting it ready to do J2534 programming. The computer I'm using is Windows 10. It doesn't really matter. The process is the same. It also doesn't meet a lot of the manufacturer's specifications. I'm just using it as an example of how to do the settings. So I understand it doesn't meet the specifications. I do not program with it. I just wanted to go over the settings with you. So follow along. The first thing you need to do, as many people will tell you, is know your enemy. So my suggestion is you go to the My Computer, right click on it, and get the properties of your computer. Now go to the manufacturer's website and make sure your PC meets the manufacturer's specification before continuing. Now right click anywhere on the screen, go to Personalize. What we're looking for is power settings or power options in this case. Uh, with the Windows 7 you're going to go to the screensaver and then you're going to click on the screensaver and go to power options. Then we're going to go to change advanced power settings. Once we're in change power, advanced power settings, you want to make sure that your hard disk stays alive during the whole programming sequence. I strongly suggest a three to four hour window. Make sure your wireless adapter settings are set for performance. Make sure that your sleep after settings are way in the future. So you want this computer to stay awake. Remember, we're using this as a tool. This isn't your day-to-day -day operation tool. The other thing is the USB selective settings. We want to make sure these are disabled. That keeps the computer from putting the USB port to sleep. Then we're going to go to the power management, processor power management tab. Then we're going to change, we're going to make sure that the minimum is 5%. Then we're going to go to the cooling po policy, the system cooling po policy, and make sure that they're both active. The next thing we're going to do is set our bat battery critical levels. It will turn off and go to sleep at critical levels. The biggest thing you want is some notification that that's a problem. So you want your low battery indicator low battery level to be quite a bit higher than your critical and then you want to make sure you get a warning so you know if you need to get your power adapter or if your computers come unplugged you want to be able to change it pretty easily thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you want some more inf informational videos on programming uh, make sure you hit the bell get notified when i release new videos you can always leave comments, thumbs ups, thumbs downs. I try to respond to comments, answer questions you may have. Uh, have a great day. And remember, at Tool Hut USA, we sell everything you need to do your own programming. We also train you how to do it. Not just with YouTube videos, but we do train you via the web to do things properly.